this section we are going to look at American units of measurement. Um, uh, specifically in this video we're going to focus on length and the main thing we're going to do is learn how to convert between the different units of length. So um, all the units of length are ones that you've heard of before inches, feet, yards, miles, but we're going to learn how to convert between them. Um, so we're given three different equivalencies here that we can work with. So we have 12 inches is equal to one foot, three feet equals one yard, and 5,280 feet equals one mile. Now the tool that we're going to use to make these conversions happen is that of a unit conversion factor. So the way to think of a unit conversion factor is that we are going to take our number um, in the first example here we're talking about 48 inches. We're going to take 48 inches and we're going to multiply by something but that something, this unit conversion factor, must equal 1 because we understand that if I multiply by one, I don't actually change my number, right? Five times one is still five. So we need to multiply by one, um, otherwise we change the measurement. But we wanna do it in such a way that we end up with, instead of inches, we end up with feet in the end. So we gotta figure out what this unit conversion factor looks like. All right, so first of all, to kind of give some motivation for, for this idea of unit conversion factor, you've actually already seen a similar concept. If I have the fraction 5 eighths and I want it to have a denominator of 16, well, I understand I need to multiply the top and bottom by 2. Okay, but one way to think of doing that is to multiply by the fraction 2 over 2, right? That gets me my 16 on bottom, gets me 10 on top, and because 2 over 2 is equal to 1, I understand that I haven't changed the fraction. 5 eighths is the same as 10 sixteenths, it just looks different. So we kind of want to do the same thing here. We want to multiply by 1, and I don't want to change the measurement, but I do want to change the way it looks, going from inches to feet. Now the other, um, the other piece of knowledge we have from our past that I think will be helpful here is suppose that I had the fraction 3 fifths and I was multiplying it by 1 third. Right? We understand if we have the same factor in the top and bottom of two fractions I'm multiplying together, I can simply cancel them out. Right? So we understand that the answer here is one-fifth. Right? So what we're going to do with this idea of a unit conversion factor is we are going to apply this canceling out principle to units themselves. So notice what we have. We have 48 inches and that inches disappears and only feet um, survives after that equal sign. So we need to get rid of inches. So since I need to get rid of the inches, I'm going to put inches on the bottom of my unit conversion factor. And as long as I can find a way to make inches go on the bottom of this fraction, we can see that what will happen is I will be able to take the inches from 48 inches and cancel it with the inches down here. All right. Understand that that 48 inches is really in the top or the numerator of a fraction. So if you'd like, before you start these problems, you can always put it over one if that's helpful to you. All right, now the inches cancel out, but we also want a new unit to appear, right? We want feet to appear. So I'm gonna put feet up here. And so now the only question is, how do I make it so that this fraction that I'm multiplying by is actually just one? Well, that's where we go up to these equations here. So, or these equivalencies here. We have 12 inches equals one foot. So since they are exactly the same, if I put one foot up here and 12 inches down here, this is really just the number one. 
Since one foot equals 12 inches, and I know that anything divided by itself is one, even though this looks doesn't look like one, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so I have not changed my 48 inches that I had originally, but I've changed the way it looks. Just like 5 eighths changed the way it looked to 10 sixteenths, but they are the same fraction. All right, so the only thing left to do here um, is go ahead and carry out the, the operation. I have a 48 on top, a 12 on bottom. And I'll go ahead and just write it like this, 48 over 12. And then you can do your division here over on the side. And it turns out the 12 goes into 48 exactly four times. So what we end up with here is that 48 inches is equal to four feet. All right. All right, so let's try this process again, converting yards into inches. So we start off with our 100 yards. And let's keep an eye on where we eventually want to go. I eventually want to have some number of inches. Okay, so 100 yards and I want to do a unit conversion factor that helps me get to inches. So I look up here and the only equivalency that involves yards is three feet equals one yard. Well that doesn't involve inches but notice that I do have an equivalency for feet and inches. So here's a situation where we're actually going to have to take two steps. I'm going to take one step that takes me from yards to feet and then once I'm in feet I'll multiply by another unit conversion factor that will take me from feet to inches. All right. So since yards are up here in the numerator and I know I want them to go away I'm going to put yards down here and feet up here. Now the equivalency says that one yard is equal to three feet so that means I'm going to put three feet here and one yard there. Since three feet and one yard are the same thing, this whole thing is just one, so I have not changed my measurement. But what I have been able to do is make my yards go away. So I can go ahead and cancel out that unit of yards right now. Now before I do any arithmetic with the numbers themselves, let's go ahead and uh, and just do our next conversion factor. If I want to go from feet two inches, I want this <coughs> this unit of feet up here to cancel out. So the only way it can cancel out is if the feet go on bottom down here and the only way for inches to appear is if the inches go on top. Then we go back up here, 12 inches equals one foot. So I put a 12 here and I put a one here. So now I can see that the feet cancel out. And so we have just inches surviving. But then we have a whole bunch of arithmetic to do, but that's okay, that's easy enough. We just need to multiply 100 times three times 12. So 100 times three is 300. And then multiplying by 12, that's going to give me 006, 3. I really didn't multiply that in the most efficient way. That's okay. So we have 3,600, so 3,600 inches. I'll clean that up a little bit. 3,600 inches.